Thank you for joining me today, dear friends. Uh, we are going to have a quick look at uh, compression actions today. So what I mean by compression, if you look here, let me, where is it, uh, compression, there are two actions here, to zip files and unzip files. Right, let's try to zip some files and see how it works. So first we would need to select a path where the files will be stored. So that's the archive path and it could be anywhere. Let's say on a desktop and I call it archive test 2 because I already have archive test. As you can guess, I already tried to run it a little bit. So now the files to unzip there are two options here to either select individual files right like i can go on a desktop and here i have a folder with three images so i can either compress one by one these images or what would probably make more sense to do a bulk compression and to compress the folder right i have already files placed in this folder all the files that i want to compress and here I can select a couple of different options. For now, I just go with best speed. I can do a password also, uh, but uh, I'm not going to do that. And also the variables that will be produced during this action is called zip file. Right. So now I have this action here. And if I run it, if I run it, then I get something on a, you see this thin archive test, this was my initial archiving, and then uh, if I move it a little bit, so here there is this archive test too. So the archive file is generated, if we look inside of it, right, I can see this three, there is a folder and with three images in it so it looks fine let's also try to do the decompression right so basically unzip unzipping these files uh, to do that i just add one more action to unzip files and first i select the path from where the file should be unzipped so it's on the desktop my archive test and the destination folder. Let me put it also on the desktop to keep it simple. And or maybe I create a new folder here, right? Desktop new folder. And the password I can skip, include mask. This is needed for filtering if I want to limit what type of files I extracted or, you know, basically to do some uh, adjustments, then this would make sense, right? And then I just click run from here. So this will run under this action. It takes a moment, see the status running. So now I should have on my desktop a new folder. Uh, where is this new folder? Uh, it does not appear to be on the desktop anywhere, right? So it looks like this action did not work properly. Let me try one more time. If I delete this folder and then I just edit my action to unzip files. Uh, for this I select desktop. Oh, you see a new folder actually appeared. It just was a small delay. But let me run it once again, just to make sure it works. It was just a short delay for this action to take place. Yeah, you see now I have this files to compress folder, newly generated with all three images in it. So that's basically it. Quite simple. Of course, in real life scenarios, it would you would make it a little bit more sophisticated. But now you know that this, how this compression zip and unzip 
uh, actions work. So uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.